Hello guys, this is Chudo Deep once again, and you are watching Sublet tutorial series. Now, this is uh, this is gonna be a very interesting program. Uh, I am just river. This program name I have given is River Sublet Java. Now, what uh, it will do as uh, if we if you give one uh, string, then the string will be printed reverse order. So I am using uh, one. Uh, function over here that will automatically reverse the string whatever you give now as usual i have imported this six uh, this this six particular files uh, that is import.java.io.io exception java.io.print writer and servlet exception http servlet request http servlet response and http servlet now my class name is reverse servlet which is extending my http servlet now I have overridden the method service and uh, over there there is a two two argument over there that is HTTP sublet request request and HTTP sublet response response and it's throwing sublet exception and IO exception. Now in my uh, service method what I have done is I have uh, given one reference that is print writer out equals to response dot get writer. Now what it will do that it will uh, just uh, write uh, whatever statement you want to print in your console or in your web browser. Now I have import I have just inputted uh, one uh, string uh, that is uh, I have given the name as reverse and I am just requesting from the user to get uh, to give uh, one input as a string now it will store as param okay and request dot get parameter equals to param now what my string buffer class do uh, will do that is my string buffer sb i have given and uh, now new string buffer i am creating one object of my string buffer class and uh, i am just calling my reverse uh, particular method reverse dot reverse now it will do that uh, it will just reverse your string whatever you give as input now out dot println will print my reverse content and it will take the value as sb now in my html file what i have done is that i have i have uh, just given one parameter over there and and just uh, I have given one input type one input type uh, that is text and name as param and in uh, I have given one submit uh, button over there that is input type submit equals to value is equal to submit now this is a pretty simple HTML file uh, over here and in my web.xml file uh, same as my previous program uh, almost the structure is same that is web app uh, equals to under the web app there is a servlet tag and under the servlet tag there is servlet name so the, my servlet name is reverse servlet and my servlet class name is reverse servlet now I have to use my mapping so that uh, it get mapped into my reverse servlet class so servlet map uh, is uh, servlet name is reverse servlet and URL pattern is uh, slash reverse servlet and in order to use this uh, both three uh, three of the files you have to store like this in my reverse servlet project i have stored my reverse servlet or java file in my java resource under source under default package and in my web.xml it is stored uh, in web inf and in the web content i have stored my reverse.html now if i run my program uh, what it will do uh, let's see i am running my reverse.html file in my server so in order to do that you have to finish and you can see my reverse.html file is running in my server so i am giving uh, parameter like hello and if i click submit then you can see that reverse content is ole that is the reverse order of uh, hello and you can see that url mapping is happening over here reverse servlet and param equals to hello so param is taking the value as hello and it is printing the reverse value of hello now this is uh, this is a pretty interesting program we gonna in implement this kind of program in our project uh, also i will be demonstrating you one simple project in my uh, last couple of tutorials in my servlet tutorial series so stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching have a nice day